Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. How you guys doing today? Welcome to another great money talk. Uh, happy Wednesday. Oh, wow. Yes, yeah, Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Uh, as you know, today we're going to be talking about some good stuff in, in regards to uh, building up our understanding and our awareness when it comes down to financial literacy. And it's important for us to learn some of the fundamentals of how to build our finances so that way we can start really start winning the money game. And winning the money game requires you to start learning how to win. And one of the things that we're going to talk about is definitely how to do that. And winning the money game is really easy. But, you know, it's all about concepts. It's really all about concept. Once you understand the concepts, you will know how to win the money game. Once you start learning the concepts, you will know how to win the money game. Everything is about financial literacy concepts, understanding concepts, concepts, concepts. Once you know the concepts, you know what to do to win the money game. So the concept we're gonna talk about today is understanding the dime method, right? The dime method. What is the dime method? Why is the dime method the way it is? Now, the dime method is to help you to understand, well, how much life insurance you need. And do you have enough? Right? It's about how much life insurance you need. And do you have enough? And how can you determine how much you need? Right? So imagine yourself like buying a car insurance, right? It is very simple. It's very simple. If the car is worth thirty-five thousand, you need thirty-five thousand of coverage to cover the car if the event of a total loss, right? If you total the car, you lose the car. You know you need to have that type of coverage to have that, right? So even the same thing with your house, right? If if you are if you value your house, if your value of your house is around three hundred thousand, then you will need three hundred thousand of coverage in case of a disaster, right? So. One of the things that you got to look at is that most people, you know, can't apply the same validation with their life, right? Because it's not that simple. It's not that simple for you to just look at you and say, hey, I'm worth 50000 or I'm worth 10000 right? You, you got to know how to calculate that. So that's why most people can't apply the same validation when it comes down to owning life insurance because simply because they don't know how to calculate how much they would really need, right? It's not what you're worth, it's about what you need, right? What you're worth, I don't think there's a real price tag on that. I, I don't think someone could really one value themselves and say, I am worth $1 million. Really, that's what a life worth, right? Or, oh, I, I'm worth 200,000. No, I don't think you ever put a value on your life. I don't think you can put a real value on yourself. I don't think there's enough money in the world. Like I'm, you know, you're you're worth more than a million, two million, fifty billion for all I care. I think your life is worth way more, right? But can you calculate how much insurance you would need um, in this time? As far as how to calculate it, what is that you're calculating? Yeah, you can do that, right? But I don't think anybody can really truly say, hey a human being is worth this much, right? I don't think none of us is at that almighty high <laughs> in order to put such a value on somebody's life, right? But uh, for now, I know for a fact that, you know, we got to know how to calculate it though. So that's why the dime method plays such an important role in regards to um, knowing how much you need, right? It's not what you're worth. Because a lot of people get that mistake and they say, oh, I'm worth this much. Oh, man. Some of you guys say you're worth so little, right? Uh, you know, you think you have a million dollar policy. Oh, I'm worth a million. Yeah, I look at that and say, that's it? You know? Like, that's nothing. You're worth a million dollars. You're telling me if someone had a million dollars right now, they could buy you, right? That's what you're doing. It's putting a price tag on yourself, right? So I hope you, you know, don't ever do that. Don't ever really just say I'm worth um this just say that you know i need this in place right now because you know your dime method or you know if you want to leave behind a legacy but i don't think you should ever consider yourself worth 
uh, a certain amount of money. I know I used to speak like this too. And, you know, the more you think about it, the more you get conscious and your eyes open up a little bit, you, you stop using certain vocabulary because when you start putting up value on self, there's someone out there that could buy you, right? There's someone out there that could buy you. It may not be the people that's around you, but someone out there could dish out a million dollars. Someone out there could dish out $5 billion, right? There's a lot of wealthy people around the world. So you just gotta keep that in mind. So here's the dime method, right? And one of the things they gotta understand about the dime method is that, you know, when it comes down to the dime method, you know, there's many people, right? There's many people that buy policies that's worth, say, 100,000 or 200,000 or 300,000, but, you know, that may not be enough, right? That may, that may not be enough. So that's why the dime method offer an easy formula to calculate your life insurance protection need, right? When it comes down to putting protection in place. So when you think about the dime, what does D-I-M-E stands for, right? It stands for debt. The D stands for debt. The I stands for income. The M stands for mortgage. And the E stands for education, right? That's what dime stands for. So how to calculate your protection need, right? How do you calculate your protection need? I'm going to give you an example. Let's say that I was able to sit down with a client. Let's say I, I sat down with a client named Bob right and i sat down with bob and then i did a review with bob and bob said hey Keon, you know I, I i i need life insurance and he said how much do i how much life insurance do i need he doesn't know how to do it so i sat down with bob i said well bob how much debt do you have right how much debt you have bob and i said and bob said you know i got fifty thousand dollars in debt and this is a combination of his credit card loans you know, credit cards, loans, and other debts, right? So we calculate that Bob had $50,000 in debt. So then I went to Bob and said, hey, Bob, how much money you take home on a monthly basis, right? Um, net pay. Bob said, you know, I take home $3,000 a month. So I times that by 12, he brings home $36,000 a year. So the income replacement that is needed for Bob is a 10-year replacement, right? Now let's say Bob is married. And he has a, a child, or even if he didn't have a child, he has a spouse, right? So now Bob said, you know, I said, Bob, you will need 10 years of that because you will need that 10 years for someone to really um, deal with you passing, you know, and for them to really get back on their feet. So Bob put 10 years in place. So that's 10 times the 36,000 a year. So that's $360,000 that's in the income section. So then we, I asked Bob, hey, Bob, what is the balance of your mortgage? You know, Bob, do you have a balance on your mortgage? Bob said, yeah, I got $200,000 left. I said, okay, $200,000. I write that down. And then I said, hey, Bob, now for your child, how many kids you have? Bob said, I got, you know, I, I, I got two kids. And I said, okay, you want them to go to college? And Bob said, yeah, absolutely. I said, well, you got to put something in place if God forbid something happens to you, you know, before you can provide for them. So let's assume that, you know, each college is $15,000 a year for a four-year college with two kids. So that means that's $120,000 that Bob would need to put in place as far as college planning as well, right? So when you add it all up, when you add it all up, you'd realize that Bob, right, is $50,000 in debt. His income replacement of three hundred and sixty thousand, the mortgage of two hundred thousand, education of one hundred and twenty thousand. You, Bob, would realize that hey, I need seven hundred and thirty thousand dollars in protection needed, right? Seven hundred and thirty thousand dollars. That's how much Bob would need to have in place if something was to happen to him, right? So most people have good protection on their house cars, but who have enough on their loved ones. So right there, Bob knows. He's not me telling Bob that he needs 700. No, Bob, see the calculation for himself. Because you see, well, this is how much I owe. This is how much my income is, my balance on my mortgage, and educational planning for my two kids, right? So Bob knows exactly what he needs. So the, 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 the thing is, now that you know, right? And the next step will be that, well, let's see what is affordable and suitable for you, right? What's affordable and suitable for you? That'd be the next step. 
that that person would have with you. So when it's all said and done, let's say that Bob had this 730,000 um, insurance protection in place, right? If, if Bob was to die right now, right? After he gets approved and everything up and running, guess what? If Bob died too soon, his surviving spouse will actually have enough money to pay off that $50,000 debt that Bob had. And she'll also continue to have the $3,000 as an income per month for the next 10 years or more. Also, she would have been able to pay off the remaining balance of the 200,000 on their mortgage and they're able to keep the house. Also, she'll still have the $120,000 saved up for the two kids when it's time for them to go to college, right? That's because Bob didn't just get what he think people said he's supposed to get. Bob actually got what his family would have need and to make sure that his debt didn't become his wife burden. He made sure that his income wasn't uh, missed. He made sure that his wife and his kids wouldn't have to move out of the house. Bob took care of that. And then at the end of the day, the kids had the college money set to the side and already there ready for them for when they go to school. That's what we got to do. See, we all got to be like a Bob, right? Because Bob understands the dime method. See, one of the things about the dime method is this, guys. You see, the good news is that with the dime method, you will know how to calculate your insurance need. That's the good news. The bad news is that, you know, many, will, many of you will probably realize that, realize that you don't have enough protection for your family. And that's what the dime method does. Did you know, according to the, uh, to the you know, Life Insurance and Market Research Association known as LIMRA, did you know that only 44% of American households have individual life insurance? Did you know that the coverage is often not enough? Did you know that people say, hey, I already have life insurance? How many people would know that says that? Hey, I already have life insurance. But the question is that you may have life insurance, but the real question is, do, do you really have enough? Do you really have enough? How would you feel if your $300,000 house burned down to the ground and when you file a claim, your insurer tell you that you only have $50,000 worth of coverage? How would you feel? You see guys, that normally would never happen because your bank will always make sure you have $300,000 in protection for that house. So what about your life? And if you pass away, how would your children and your spouse feel when they check for $100,000? They receive a check for $100,000 and after expenses, they may be left with very little and face a bleak future. What's going to happen to us then? That's why, guys, that dime method is so incredible. That dime method is so important, guys. And it's important for us to really, truly put ourselves in a winning position to always win. I want to tell you guys that this dime method is something incredible. And I want us to always remember that we could change our lives with understanding this simple concept. And we can apply it. And always and remember, your life is forever changing. You know, I know people that have gotten life insurance when they were single and they never got it again. They never look at it again. Then they have kids, they have a family that took on a mortgage and they never updated. That's why I said, if your life insurance agent or your agent does not do an annual review with you, if your agent does not do an annual review with you, then guess what? You're not going to be in a position to win. Because if you own life insurance, you need to do an annual review because things are forever changing. What if you acquire more debt? What if you take on a mortgage? What if you have a child, right? All of these things factor in in, in, in you, you always updating that. And the way you know if you need more is by always running a dime method. But more importantly, you always got to know where you are annually within your, your, your plans. So annual reviews are very important for you to do. So that way you can always know, hey, are mice really, really covered? 
Or maybe you could find out that, man, maybe I'm overprotected. Right after over a couple of years, you may realize that hey, I don't really need this much. I could probably, you know, down down it, you know, ten percent. You could probably take off ten percent. It depends on how it's designed. You could probably take off a certain amount as you get older. So, you know, just keep that in mind, guys. Right? It's important to really understand concepts. That way, you could truly understand the product. And if you understand the concepts, you will understand the products. And this is how you continue to win the money game, guys. And we're going to keep winning the money game. And we're going to keep getting better at it, right? So concepts, concepts, right? Once you understand the concepts, you would then know what product you need for you to keep on winning the money game. All right? So um, just a quick announcement, guys. As you know, um, like I said, Money Talk, right, with Mr. Finance. So you can always check us out on Spotify. YouTube, SoundCloud, and iTunes, right? You can check out our podcast on there. And, you know, remember to like and share, right? Remember to always like and share. And just so you guys know this, what's coming up next is that we're always talking about the next subject. So tomorrow we will be talking about the, you know, the 1020 formula and the 5020 budgeting, 502030 budgeting formula, right? It's gonna be an incredible breakdown for you guys tomorrow. So don't miss that. Also, remember that we have our financial literacy classes. You know, are you open to learning more, right? Are you open to learning more? So we welcome you to come to our four steps to financial freedom every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday at 10 a.m., 12 p.m., and 6 p.m. Eastern time, right? You can always call in on the 646-568-7788 and enter our meeting ID at 739-226-2726. And if you're coming in through Zoom, you can just use that password, B Shanas, capital B S H Y N A Z, right? And you can always either call in or dial in. Also, just remember that we have workshops, all right? We have our uh, national workshops all week, every week, starting since August 10th, we've been doing this. And you can always go get your, um, access to our workshops, right? And go to worldsystembuilder.com backslash WS um, um, dash USA. And just so you know, our workshops are every Monday through Friday, right? From 2 p.m. Eastern time to 8 p.m. Eastern time. And, you know, as you know, our goal is to continue educating. We want to do 30 by 30, right? Financial education isn't an option, guys. It's a necessity. That's why World System Builder is committed to educating and helping, help empowering people, right? We're going to continue to help empowering people. 30 million, 30 million financially educated by the year 2030. That's our goal. So let's go out there and continue helping families. I remember today at 10 a.m., we will have our financial literacy classes. So that way you guys can get um, the introduction to some of the things that we're doing. So invite a friend, tell a friend, and don't miss it, okay? And just keep on your calendar. I have an event that's coming up um, October 18th to the 19th um, of this year. And just go to extensionexpo.com to go get your tickets. And I will be launching something very brand new there when it comes to understanding more about finance. I'm going to be teaching a simple concept that I've never been talked about before. I only used it with my clients. Um, and one of the things that I'm gonna launch is something new there for you guys to learn a little bit more and with an easier format. All right, so thank you guys uh, for tuning in. Um, if you had any comments or questions, remember you can always comment them or you can put them in the chat room. I just wanna thank you guys for always tuning in. My name is Keon Corniff, also known as Mr. Finance. Always remember that you're one decision away from changing your future for the better. So always remember that the choice is always yours and we want you to choose the right one. All right. So thank you so much.